Good morning, and if I haven't seen you already, uh, then I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. Uh, this week we are looking at the book of Philippians, um, chapter 1, and I'm just going to kick us off by reading verses 2 through to 4. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to God. Whenever I pray, I make requests for all of you with joy. So just to give a little bit of background to uh, to this book that we're looking at, this is Paul writing to the church in Philippi, a church, the first church in Europe, um, which he himself established um, with some of his travelling companions. And uh, now, some years later, Paul finds himself in the confines of a Roman prison cell, and he's received the gift from the church in Philippi in order to meet his needs, uh, which he's received as a great blessing. And so just like I will often say to my boys uh, after Christmas, and I was brought up doing the same, you write a thank you note to express your gratitude for the gift that people have given you. So this is kind of like a a thank you note that Paul is writing back to the church in Philippi, but also he writes to strengthen and encourage them in their faith. Now, when I was uh, at Bible college um, as a young student there, um, I was put through a mutual friend in touch with uh, a young pastor from Tanzania. And uh, my emails to him would normally start off with something like, hi, mate, how's it going? Hope you're well. Uh, Whereas his responses to me always read like one of these New Testament epistles. Grace and peace uh, in the name of our risen uh, Lord and Saviour. I'd be thinking, God, this seems incredibly formal and not at all how I would normally write. But actually, on reflection, what a fantastic way to begin any conversation. But remembering what we have in common through our Lord Jesus. And uh, I'm going to pick up on three things that Paul focuses on in those first couple of verses. And they are grace, peace and joy. Now, I think if there was three things that we really needed at the top of our list right now, they would be right up there. So as we learn from Paul writing in his own lockdown in a Roman prison cell, uh, I think there's so much that that can speak into our situation in lockdown 2021. Um, So perhaps you're at home, uh, working out how on earth to balance uh, your own work with somehow doing homeschool and trying not to tear your hair out and scream at the kids before you've even had breakfast. Um, Perhaps you're worried and anxious about your own health or someone uh, close to you, a loved one who perhaps even has COVID themselves or you're uh, afraid that they might. Uh, Perhaps you're lonely and you've never been so isolated as you are now, having gone almost months on end without being able to to see people or experience human touch. So however uh, you're experiencing this current lockdown, I believe that grace, peace and joy are something that God wants each of us to know. And to know that actually they are in spite of circumstance. When Paul uh, speaks about grace... This is a grace which meets us where we're at. As Philip Yancey uh, said, uh, grace is recognising that there's nothing we can do to make God love us any more. And there's nothing we can do to make God love us any less. Actually, he just loves us because he loves us because he loves us because he's our dad. He's our father in heaven and that we are his children. And peace is something which Paul writes about later on in this uh, same book. And he describes it as a peace which surpasses all understanding, a peace we can't quite get our head around. We should be stressed. We should be um, kind of uh, in the midst of this storm. We, We can't quite understand how we're coping. But yet somehow God can meet us and bring us peace and a joy which uh, Paul knows in spite of circumstances that he calls the Philippians to to rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. In fact, this book, Philippians, in only four short chapters, includes the instructions to be joyful uh, 16 times. It's, It's kind of known as the book of joy. 
And uh, if Paul was able to be that joyful from his Roman prison cell, then there's hope for us in lockdown three. So joy isn't like happiness. It's not kind of up and downs and good days and bad days. Joy is something that surpasses that. It's more of an inward strength of knowing that Jesus has got us in his hands, both for now and for eternity. And Paul says in his prayers, he remembers the church in Philippi with joy and thanksgiving. And I just want to encourage you this morning that when I'm I'm praying my prayers, that I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for being part of this family here at Lighthouse. I'm thank you uh, for a church of all ages, of people of many gifts and um, of having brothers and sisters uh, to walk this journey of faith with. So this morning, I want you just to think about who are you thankful for that God has put in your life? And my prayer for you is that you might know his grace, his peace and his joy in all that you do today. Bless you, Lighthouse.